Hey, what's up, everybody? Richard Jarrett, Cosmic Wonder, and wanted to jump on, give you a big what's up. Hope everybody's doing great, uh, getting ready for the holidays. It's always a fun time. I uh, wanted to jump on real quick and dive into the second chapter into the Secret Societies, National Geographic, that go into the Delphi Oracles, uh, so the cult of Dionysus, or Bacchus, who was turning the water into wine. Uh, some of those uh, in the Greek catacombs that had mosaics of Dionysus or Bacchus with a uh, staff with a pine cone. So it ties back into that pineal gland. And uh, when you uh, dig in there to the Delphi Oracles, there's a picture of Sibylle in which they used to have young virgins um, doing the uh, oracles because they had, uh, and they were like mediums. But they had insight. And then they had keen astrologers. But back in the day, um, the Delphi Mystery Schools um, were heavily initiated into the symbolism of the sun going in the pineal gland, going into some of those amazing um, trials and tribulations of the passages and rites of what uh, every soul goes through, and we're all symbolic of that sun. But uh, Dionysus, when you look at the Greek catacombs, they had the pine cones, uh, dipping into the pineal. But if you get a chance, jump on, get the, the magazine. It's really awesome. Hoody buddy, what are you doing? Oh, well, Hudson hanging out. He's all ready for Christmas. But anyway, I got to jump off, guys. But I uh, just uh, wanted to bring that to your attention. Delphi, ancient Greece, that was handed down from the ancient Egyptians. So they continued the mystery schools. And like I said, who taught the Egyptians its mystery, or who was before the Hindus, who taught who? Uh, some believe that the uh, survivors of the ancient, uh, highly civilized, um, pre-flood, pre adamic uh, pre-history, uh, um, were the ancient Atlanteans. But anyway, guys, if you get a chance, jump on. Uh, give me a big what's up. Send some messages. Uh, try to get in touch with everybody as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, I'll be back at you. We're going to jump into the next one, which it goes into the Mithraic ones. So I look out for that, which it's a continuation into Persian and Zoroaster, which, you know, uh, the Greeks and Persians had it out. But it's interesting when you see deep in those secret societies that they hold key the same symbolisms and they're going back thousands and thousands of years before Christ. Uh, so it's real important. We're going to go all the way through uh, all the times, all the way up until now. And, uh, you know, I'll show you everything. So keep in touch. One love. Mass empowerment. Tribe with your tribe. Check out Soulfly if you want some good empowerment music. Uh, DJ Shadow is a killer one. Music's key. The ancients knew it. So a lot of therapy there, guys. Um, the RZA, he's really digging into some uh, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, which, you know, studying him going back in the day, he really had some really cool stuff talking about the Statue of Liberty. He was using samples of Jordan Maxwell, who was another uh, phenomenal researcher, a cult writer, and he's still around, but check him out too, uh, Jordan Maxwell. But anyway, guys, one love, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace out.